caught in the macrame web she spun by internal decadence leaves her to live her life on broken wings. The totality of carcasses strewn at her feet comes from sagacious deceptions, filling reels of pictorial film awaiting its panoramic debut. Dilapidated wrought iron gates slump and neglect as empty rope swings from the gallows. Trees bend to the way of sorrowful winds, convoluting in permanency. Effluvium impregnates the air. Excrement released from the bowels of bulls and jackals leaves her in a high virginitous state, like the ash residue she snorts from crematoriums. Encompassed in guise and monks' cloth as a semblance motif, she's ensconced in, retreating into self-imposed exile, corralling for pity, living her life on broken wings, forlorn by choice parochialism, hoping to conceal the rancor imploding vehemently inside her belly. Incrustations of coral scales coat her tongue, regurgitate acidic lace breath, restricts speech, adhering to quiescence. Lines of demarcations leads to extricating atonement from all that knew and loved her. But as Christ approached her fortress, her induced aversion toward his merciful beauty, inflamed anger and purulent matter, stirring scabies beneath, perforating her flesh, descending from her monstrous sight. He leaves her to the underworld. As she smells her lover nearing, she becomes physically inanimate, gargantuan in stature. He stands before her, showing her lasciviousness. Passions arise, and he gives her the gift she seeks. This large from this life, like the arrows released from the bows and archer's hand. Ballerina's swan dance in singed tutus, expedient, asphyxiated voyage into perdition. This her resolve as she lived her life on broken wings.